Welcome back. This is chapter third. Journey to the end of the earth, written by Tisani Dosi. And now I'm going to explain page number 21st. So here we go. Students on Eyes, the program I was working with on the Sokaski aims to do exactly this by taking high school students to the end of the world. So, uh, the program that the author was working with, the author was assisting on Sokaski, the vessel academic Sokaski had the same aim, had the same objective, that is to tell people, tell people or to encourage people to go there and find and discover the present, past and future of this earth. And for this, uh, they are, or uh, they have said, they have taken high school students to the end of this world, that is to Antarctica, and providing them with inspiring educational opportunities. And this also provides them with inspiring, motivating educational opportunity. This is an excellent opportunity to the young minds, which will help them foster a new understanding. Uh, this will help this opportunity that had been provided or uh, that has been provided by uh, this group is excellent and this will help them foster develop and grow a new understanding about the earth and respect for the planet or uh, they will uh, love the planet they will start to have respect for the planet and they will learn a lot about the present past and future of this it's been in operation for six years now headed by canadian geoff green this program was launched uh, six years back and was headed by and has been say has been headed by Canadian Geoff Green who got tired of courting celebrities and retired rich curiosity seekers who could only give back in limited ways so uh, when uh, they started this program and the uh, Geoff Green uh, who headed this program was ferrying people uh, at the beginning, uh, say, mm, to begin with, when they started the program, uh, they were ferrying uh, the celebrities, retired people, rich and curiosity seekers to this part. But then they realized that they could only give back to the society and to the world in a limited way. With students and eyes, he offers the future generation of policymakers a life-changing experience at the at an age when they are ready to absorb, learn, and most importantly, act. So later they realize that uh, no, they should work with the students, and uh, then they started. They launched a new program, Students and Eyes, and this offers the future generation of policy makers a life-changing experience this is a life-changing experience for the future policy makers who would be forming new policies for this ad and they only can change all this the way we have been behaving <clears throat> the way uh, we have been uh, we have been torturing this earth uh, because here at this age they're ready to absorb the things the way they are explain or uh, the things that they learn and most importantly they are here 
at this age are ready to act. The reason the program has been so successful is because it's impossible to go anywhere near the South Pole and not be affected by it. So here are the reason. The reason pointed out why this program has been so hit so successful uh, is that someone one going anywhere near the South Pole if you go anywhere near the South Pole it is impossible that you return home without getting influenced by this by uh, by this place and that's why people are crazy about this place or are, are very much wanting to return to this place and that's why among students it's a very hit very successful it's easy to be blaze about polar ice caps melting while sitting in the comfort zone of our respective latitude and longitude it's very easy to stay off stay far off places at our homes in our countries and talk about the melting ice caps of, of this reason it's very easy but when you can visibly uh, visibly see glaciers retreating and ice cells collapsing you begin to realize that the threat of global warming is very real uh, so uh, in the second case say uh, very easy to uh, talk about global uh, global warming talk about all uh, the ice melting and all that when you visibly see when you personally uh, see things happening there and the glacier in the and the polar reasons and the polar reasons are uh, it's it's something that you realize that yes or uh, the threat of global warming is very much real it's it's very much true and that uh, we must act now to to prevent this world to uh, to help preserve these ice caps to save this earth Antarctica because of her simple ecosystem and lack of biodiversity is the perfect place to study how little changes in the environment can have big repercussions so uh, the author feels that uh, this is the best place Antarctica is the best place to conduct any kind of study to know how a little change can have a big impact on the uh, on the ecosystem on the environment because this place is simple this is not having uh, a biodiversity this is not having uh, a variety of flora and fauna so it's very easy to understand the changes that take place Take the microscopic phytoplankton, those grasses of the sea and that nourish and sustain the entire southern ocean's food chain. Now take for example the microscopic microscopic phytoplankton. Phytoplankton is a microscopic that is very tiny grass and what is said words uh, spoken about these grasses that they nourish they feed all uh, the ocean 
creature creatures of the ocean there uh, and the entire southern ocean and uh, because of this only they uh, sustain their life the animals or uh, the creatures there sustain their life uh, that is the only source of food for them the single cell plants use the sun's energy to assimilate carbon and synthesize organic compounds and that wondrous and most important uh, process called syn photosynthesis so here uh, these are uh, single cell plants use the sun's energy to absorb carbon dye carbon that is carbon dioxide and uh, synthesize again absorb organic compounds and that wondrous and most important of uh, the process called photosynthesis so these uh, single cell plants only do uh, the process and complete this process uh, that is called photosynthesis and that process that way uh, produce the food uh, for itself it grow it thrive and it becomes the food for the creatures and the southern ocean so this is all for now thank you